Hello again. Allow and let, but first allow me to introduce myself. My name is Richard Vaughn and allow me to say something about myself. I'm an English teacher and I've been teaching English for many years, okay? Now, let me see. Let me see what I can say now. Let me see. Uh, yeah, okay. We're going to talk about let and allow. Allow is a formal verb used in official language in very relatively sophisticated or high-level language. And let is the everyday. Let is the plebeian or plebeian, and allow is the patrician, okay? Let. Uh, we use let all the time. Children never say allow. They begin to say allow when they are teenagers or young adults, and they begin to use more formal language. Normally, when we say allow, we are speaking the usted form, not the tuteo. We say let on the tuteo. Now, let me start. Let me start. Let me go. Let me see. Let me play. Let me have. Allow, don't worry about it, it's very clear, allow is to permit. El nuevo sistema que hemos implantado nos permite mejorar la gestión. Okay, the new system that we have implemented will allow us to improve our management systems and controls. It will enable us, is another possibility. Nos posibilita, nos permite, it enables us or allows us to move forward in different ways that before we haven't been able to do. All right, but let me, uh, let me say a few words. Let me say, let me go, let me come, let me see, let me. Repito esto tantas veces para que oigáis let sin el tú. Los españoles tenéis la tendencia muy marcada de decir let me to. Let me to pick up. Casi tengo miedo de decirlo para no re reforzarlo. Let me pick up. Let me show you. Let me put on. Let me... Clap, let me talk, let me go. All right. And let, also with, the, with prepositions, let me down. If you put me up on, to, on a tree limb, say, let me down. Allow me to come down. Let me down. All right. Let me up. Let me go up. Let, but let down also has a second meaning. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Come on, don't disappoint me. I feel let down. I feel demoralized and disappointed and discouraged. Yeah, learning English is a... Come on, don't let me down. I'm teaching you English. I'm doing the best I can. I have high expectations concerning you. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, eh? So, no me defraudes en esto, eh? No me decepciones. All right. Espero mucho de ti. I expect a lot from you. I expect a lot of you. Both are correct. I expect a, expect a lot of you. I expect a lot from you. And don't let me down. I'm counting on you. Cuento contigo para impresionar a mis jefes con mi forma de enseñar. So, wow. Manolo's English is improving incredibly. Richard, you're a very good teacher. So I need that good feedback. I need that good food feedback. So don't let me down. Come on, you have to make an effort, you have to improve, and you have to be able to exhibit or demonstrate to my bosses that your English is getting much better quickly. So don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down on this. This is a very common expression in English when you say, no me decepciones. Tengo muy altas expectativas con respecto a esto. Y no me dejes la estacada. No me defraudes. Please, don't let me down. I'm counting on you, not counting with, I'm counting on you, so don't let me down. And uh, you need to practice and practice and practice and study and study and don't let up. Never let up. To let up means to take a pause and, ha, and relax. You let up. All right? If you let up, you let me down. Eh? So don't let up in your effort. Continue. R -R -R. Keep studying. Keep doing things. Keep working insistently, constantly, never let up. If you let up, your progress will begin to fall, and in the end, you'll let me down, all right? Let me go, let me come, let me see, let me play. Let him go, let him come, let him see, let him, let him do whatever he wants. Let him come if he wants, and let him go if he wants. Let him eat wherever he wants. Let him, let him, let him, let him, let her. Letter suena a letra. Letter use the letter. Letter send the letter. 
let her send the letter. Déjale a ella que envíe la carta. Let her, let her send the letter. Let us in the letter. The British would say letter. Let us in the letter. Okay. And the people in some areas are being able to let us see the, send the letter. All right. But it sounds exactly the same. Dejarle a ella, una mujer, letter. Suena igual que carta, letter, o letra, letter. Yeah, uppercase letters, lowercase letters. Letter use, uppercase letters. Letter use, capital letters. Letter. Let me. Let him. Let him. Let us. Let us. Let us do it. Let's do it. Let's do it is hagámoslo. Let us do it is por favor déjenos hacerlo. So and there's one case where you must. It's recommendable to use a contraction. In another case, you can't. So déjenos hacerlos. Let us. Let us eat lettuce. Déjenos comer lechuga. Let us eat lettuce. Pero comamos lechuga. Anda. Let's eat lettuce. Let's eat lettuce. Let us eat lettuce. So lettuce sounds very similar to let us. Let us use the microphone. Let us go. Let us sounds like lechuga. Let us use lettuce. And then let them. Let them. We use it let them. Let them. Let them go. Let them do it. Let them see. Let them. All right. But the important thing here is when you use let, remember, never use the little word to. It doesn't exist in this type of sentence. Let me see. Let me see. Todo el mundo sabe eso. A ver, let me see. Uh, I need to change the uh, arrangement of the things. Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Se dice tanto que la T de let nos la comemos. Let me. Let me go. Let me see. Let me. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me. Let me. Let me. All right. That's how common it is. So let me uh, stop for a few minutes. I need to come back. Allow me a few minutes to rest and recuperate. But I'll be back with the last segment of Let in just a few moments.